In our previous videos, we have seen the invocation of the REST APIs using the Postman. But since this is very tedious work to do, what we can do is we can use the Swagger to invoke the REST APIs. So for that reason, what we can do is we can add one dependency in the application. Here in the build.gradle, what we can do is we need to add this dependency, the Quarkus small ray open API. So once you add this dependency, you will be able to see the Swagger UI for this application. So let's start the application and see what do we get. Now that the application has started, let's try to access the Swagger UI slash Q slash Swagger UI. Even after adding that dependency, it is saying that there is some error 401, which means the API should be authenticated. But we do not want this REST API path slash Q slash Swagger UI to be authenticated. We will add this in our list of permit paths. What I'm going to do is here in application.properties, this set of configuration is to permit all, comma, slash Q slash swagger hyphen ui slash star so i want to give access to all of the apis under swagger hyphen u let me restart it again and reload so it's loading the swagger ui but the swagger ui still needs this slash q slash open api rest api to be added to the permit all paths let me just copy this and Go over here, paste, restart, started, and reload. There you go. The Swagger UI is ready to use, and still we did not add any authentications here. Let's try to access the public API. So, our public API is this list of restaurant. We are able to access this REST API without any authentication. Let's try to access the other open API. Here you will see we are able to access this API as well because both of these are public APIs, but the put API here is not public. So what I'm going to do is this is my item ID and the price is 245. I'm just trying to update. From 245 to 350. Execute. So it says it is unauthorized. This put API is failing because we are not sending any authorization bearer in the request. You can see in the curl there is no authorization bearer being sent in the request. So for that sake, what we need to do, we need to add a configuration which allows the Swagger UI to uh, get the authentication bearer or to get the access token. We need to add a configuration for small ray security scheme. So here for open API security scheme, what I'm going to give is OIDC. There are several security schemes here. Let me write them so these are all the security schemes available that can be used oauth to implicit or oidc and all other schemes in our case we need oidc i'm adding this oidc let's see what happens once we add this property restart and reload now you can see that a button to authorize has appeared here uh, if you have seen prior to this, there was no button. If I click on this, it is still empty because there are no authorization methods that have been added. So how can we do that? For that, we need to add another property, this configuration. And where did I get the URL for this? So this is available in our key clock itself. We go to the key clock here, login, and for dive dev, Dream configurations. Here you'll see the endpoint for OpenID configurations. If you click, you'll see the same URL which has been used in here. Let's see if this is useful for us. So we have started the server, reload, and you will see there are several 
options which can be used for the authorization how do we get these many authorization options is so it is defined in this response itself let me show you by formatting this json here you'll see the formatted json for that api and the grant types supported are this authorization code implicit refresh token and all these things so the same things you will see here as well so authorization code implicit refresh token password and all other stuff i would like to update the price for this i will log in suresh not that one two three client id is this and client secret copy paste and authorize so this is authorized now let's see even after doing all this stuff if we are able to invoke this rest api so my item 42001 restaurant i have this menu id as 2003 menu id is 2003 and the price i would like to update it to 350 rupees execute there is still unauthorized error the reason is still you are not able to see any authorization bearer going from here although we have authenticated it still doesn't work and the reason behind this is you need to provide some kind of information to this rest api saying that there is a e-cloak invocation and the authorization has to be added and that can be done using a property that needs to be added here let me add it so i need to give the i have this security scheme and i need to give a security scheme name for that i have given it as key clock it is up to you on what name you want to give it here i'm using key clock and this security scheme name has to be used for the rest api which is being called using security requirement the name should be key clock because that is the name we have given here in the properties and also note that this security scheme requirement should be from eclipse micro profile open api annotations itself so now that we have added this as well let me restart server has started let's reload authorize suresh demo at the rate one two three and client id is this client secret is if you have seen we are not selecting any of the scopes so we'll just leave it as a default scope authorize close 2003 sorry and 350 so now it is able to send the authorization bearer and it has updated the value to 350 so this is how we can use key cloak with swagger and the quarkus in the next video we'll see the configuration for authentication and authorization in the key cloak itself rather than in the quarkus application that's it for this video thanks for watching